Excuse me, Professor Trout? Yeah? Huh. You, you got a minute? I guess it's just another phone, huh? Yeah, sure. What? What? Um, well, my photographer isn't here yet, but, you know, we could start without him. I was wondering if I could interview you for, for the newspaper, the, the school newspaper. You can try. I'm sorry? What do you want, Pierce? Well, some students, um, you know, not, not me, of course, uh, have been eavesdropping on, on some other students, and apparently you've started some sort of organization. Well, it's not really an organization. Apparently, it's a cult. A grand falloon? Oh, please. What? A grand falloon. What, what, what is that? It's like an organization of people bonded together over some silly human-defined reason. So you're denying that you've started a cult? Yes. Sure. Okay. Why don't I read to you a uh, Calypso? Verse, verse 5. Live by the foma that make you brave and happy and healthy. So no, I don't have a cult. Look, Professor, apparently you've started some sort of religion on campus. The head of the sociology department said he saw you and another student performing some sort of ritual in a uh, closet. Ha, huh, busy, busy, busy. We were just doing the Bokumaru. I can, I can see that you're confused. What did I show you? Take off your shoes and socks. Take off your shoes and socks, Pierce. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to put our souls together. Our souls? How? No. Uh, your feet. Put your feet against mine. Why? It's the way a Bokanonist worships his or her creator. Don't you want the story? Come on, Pierce. Come on. All right. Nicely done. You have clean feet. Okay, what now? Take a deep breath. Let it fill you, let it out. Now raise your arms up, kind of like a ballerina, except you're a pierce, you're still a pierce, a very strong pierce that's going to turn into worm arms. Now you have worm arms. Good, both arms. Uh-oh, your left arm is becoming a sunbeam. Keep the other right arm a worm. Now the right arm is a sunbeam reaching up Reach up, keep looping, keep looping. Higher, higher, the worm wants to go higher to the sunbeam. You can't stop the worm, the worm just has to reach the sun. It is, close your eyes, close your eyes, cause it's just too bright, it's too bright. You're trapped in a cocoon you just realized, Pierce. You're trapped, can you feel it? Y yes. What are you gonna do, you gotta break out of the cocoon. I gotta, I gotta break out, Pro Professor Trout. You're a butterfly. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a worm. I'm Break a butterfly. You can I'm, do a, I'm it. a I'm a butterfly ballerina. You can do it, Pierce. <laughs> Take a breath. Come on, break out. Oh shoot, uh, Austin. This is this is not what it looks like, dude. No, seriously. Shoot. I just finished it last night. How'd you, would you like, would you like it? Yeah, I think uh, the flying spaghetti monster smiles upon Kurt Vonnegut. I think you gotta have Pierce borrow this. So it goes, so it goes. <laughs>